Welcome back. The broadswords are ready and waiting. Good luck, Captain. What the broadswords are going to do is help us take down the Kaprathi Carrier. So, we're here in Vapia to escort them. We have additionally three FAs from the Concordia, and as you'll discover when we reach the nav point, a bunch of civilians. We'll be covered as long as we can. Take out that carrier. I'm here to attract some attention from these Kamecks and try and damage one of them while wow. waiting for some fighters to close the distance to me. And from here on, this mission is a fighter shooting gun. Basically, relatively few of the Kalafi fighters are actually after me. There's an awful lot of civilians around, and they spend a lot of their time shooting at them. As you may have recognised, if you play Wing Commander 4 or Wing Commander 5, that was Hawk. Uh, Colonel, as he is in those games, Jacob Manley. I don't know what he's doing here. Um, I guess they had his common files from Prophecy and they decided to use them. There's no reason he wouldn't have been in this battle. Ride the chair. Make sure I get the stuff. And he's a pretty bellicose kind of guy. We'll be hearing that taunt on multiple occasions. As I was saying, this mission is a fighter shooting gallery. Normally, when you're doing escort missions, there's a lot of looking at the tactical map, trying to work out which ships are actually attacking the bombers and which ones are going after targets you don't care about so much. This one, before I do that, I always try and just kill the nearest fighter to me as quickly as I can, as the sort of basic strategy, and that worked second try. The only tactical refinement I had to make was launching that strafing run on the Corvette at the start, and then this just worked. So, either this is a very easy mission, or this is actually how you're supposed to do it. But I have done this mission simply by killing the nearest fighter to me all the time. You may have noticed By now, that the civilians don't exactly have particularly varied death communications. I think there's three of them or something. Given how many civilian ships there are in this mission, how rapidly they die, we could probably have done with more than three, possibly four or five. To be here on the county, that's a good sign. As is the fact that the broadswords have very rarely played out for any kind of help. I complained in the briefing video and also in the thread that this carrier shouldn't exist, that it's the fifth of all counties that it has. Well, I suppose it's just about possible that they did drag another carrier out of reserves and packed it with trading pilots or something, because the standard of Kilnathi piloting in this mission is pretty terrible. I mean, Krantz are Krantz everywhere, but there's a bunch of Sartre and Drakling here as well, and they don't seem to be launching missiles at all. Those ships are worthy of respect and dangerous, primarily because of their dumbfire missiles, and they just don't seem to be using them. 
it's one of our bombs we're losing. Yeah. I thought at this point that it might be a good idea to try and knock some of the turrets off the camp. Well, that was an admirable intention, but this actually turned out to spoil it. And as it turned out, it wasn't necessary. The thing you can, could see in my front view screen there was an Artemis, one of the civilian ships. You've seen Tarsus and Talons and Free Traders and so on before. The Artemis is supposed to be a, an old reconnaissance ship. It's very fast without... R.I.P. Swordfish, we've lost one of our wingmen on the Frecker there. Wingmen are vulnerable in their last mission, which this clearly was for Swordfish. He's dead. Uh-uh. Don't land, Captain. We've got more work for you to do. You must be joking. We're low on missiles, fuel, everything. That's what I was thinking at this Mayday, point, too. Mayday. This is the Concordia. Our flight deck is damaged. We are unable to launch fighters. Well, obvious. Exactly. Take Bravo Wing and go. Well, that was pretty much guaranteed to happen. It was a Wing Commander game and the Concordia was in it. I suppose they had to throw that in at some point. Bravo Wing, by the way, is Trigger. Just Trigger. I'll explain why in a bit. Do not engage the Bravo pilot. We're going to eliminate her ourselves. We are going to do it. The Trigger will kill you. I cannot imagine no, a destroyer sending over a military oh net as its SOS we're going down message we are going kablu much as I love what it said I think it was really realistic still it was unrealistic and awesome so I'll forgive standoff for it anyway I was going to explain why Bravo win as it was triggered the game is trying to launch wing of stilettos as the Trekkers can, Combat Aerospace Patrol, prior to the start of this mission, but when it tries to launch a wing, freeze the letter. The game tells it we've only got one left. Actually, now we've got none left because Trigger just ejected. So it only launches one of those three to that end. So Bravo Wing ends up just being Wing Leader, which is Trigger. Now Trigger isn't in any danger of dying, he's a plot wingman, so he's immortal. So then he'll be killed by the drop. Which is occasionally a bit unrealistic too. I've had missions where Trigger ejected in the middle of that fleet and would be conning in mission one of episode five, and uh, somehow the searching rescue party managed to pull him out of there, which uh, would have been a prodigious feat of piloting if he had to stop to use tractor beam. Cheers, Ferret. We're firing the phase transit cannon. All pilots, stand clear. The graphical effect of this is a bit disappointing, as you can see. I mean, it's one of those things. People who love the Wing Commander universe enough to make a game like Standoff are always going to try and recreate what they had in Wing Commander 2 rather than come up with a new effect. I'd have preferred some kind of beam weapon for the phase transit cannon, I think. But it's a minor thing really, you only see it fired once. I'm glad that we did get to see it fired. If you're going to have the Concordia in a closed mission, have it shot off its battleship big gun. I'm now, if you look at my fuel gauge, very low on burner fuel, which is why I'm hanging back some more, as I want to save some emergencies. This guy doesn't need burners that much. That is well right. That's an hour. Of course, if you've played Wing Commander 3, you've seen them before, and we'll see it again on the losing path. Hey, man. Listen, if we survive this, you should drop by the Concordia for a drink. Seems I owe you one. 
Okay, ladies. But now Get it's back to the back in line. Return to formation around me. Mission accomplished. This is Bradshaw. I'm ready to land. Quickly, Captain. Land and rearm. We need you back out there, ASAP. As it does seem that I'm the only pilot capable of bringing a fighter back, I think that is a valid conclusion that Freyas is drawing there. So yeah, not even that much damage by my standards, though the Chief is predictably still complaining. Looks like the cats messed you up pretty bad. I tend to think that 46% damage in exchange for 28 kills is a good thing, Chief, but, you know, whatever, I guess you're the one that has to repair them. Anyway, that's it for this mission, so thanks for watching. I've been Ilanin, this has been Wing Commander Standoff, and I'll see you next time, in which the full-scale insanity really begins.